This week, the State Water Resources Control Board for, for, for farmers and environmental activists and over the timetable and methods for reducing toxic irrigation drainage going into the San Joaquin River. This story from KQED's Quest series looks at the restoration project and the challenges and hopes for bringing one of the nation's most altered and polluted rivers back to life. The San Joaquin is California's second longest river, 330 miles, and it once boasted the second largest salmon runs in the state. There are historical accounts that the residents near the town of Friant would have a hard time sleeping at night because of the sound of the salmon moving upstream. By the early 1900s, river water was being diverted for farming and hydropower, causing a dramatic decline in the number of salmon. Still, the river flowed continuously from the Sierras to the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta. The watershed bustled with commerce and recreation. But the river's era of abundance came to an abrupt end with the construction of Friant Dam, which was completed in 1942. The decision to build Friant Dam was a calculated choice by politicians and powerful landowners to trade fish for farms. Miles of river were all but drained as water was rerouted to irrigate a million acres of arid land from Merced to Bakersfield. And within a few years, the Chinook salmon ceased to exist in the upper reaches of the San Joaquin River. The thing that's most remarkable to me about them is that in spite of all the changes that have occurred and alteration to their habitat and historical conditions, that they still somehow persist. Chinook are the largest of the salmon species. They travel thousands of miles, spending three to five years in the open ocean before making the difficult journey upstream to their river origins to spawn and die. But the dams on the San Joaquin were built too high for the powerful fish to traverse. And Chinook salmon have been barred from 90% of their ancestral spawning grounds for more than 50 years. Today, the dwindling population found in San Francisco Bay's Delta hangs on the edge of extinction. But that could soon be changing. In 2004, after environmental organizations sued the Federal Bureau of Reclamation, a federal judge ordered that water be returned to the river. Two years later, the government and the environmental groups, along with the Friant Water Users Authority, representing thousands of farmers, agreed to a historic court settlement to restore the San Joaquin River and reintroduce spring and fall run Chinook salmon. Rod Mead was chosen to be the independent administrator of the restoration project. This is the most ambitious and unique river restoration project uh, that has been undertaken. Uh, other rivers have been restored and enhanced. In this case, we have a river that quit flowing as a year-round river for about 30 miles. The river began its return in October 2009, as water flows from Friant Dam were gradually increased. Already, the river is wet from the dam to the delta. Restoring water and restoring the habitat will help bring back our historic salmon runs but there are a lot of other native fishes that will benefit from restoring the San Joaquin. There will also be a lot of habitat that's created along the banks, and that's gonna benefit a lot of migratory birds that fly up and down the Central Valley every year. Since Friant Dam was built, the east side of the Central Valley has been some of the most productive farmland in the United States. Under the settlement, farmers will be required to restore 15 to 17 percent of the water they've been taking, and many of them are nervous. All of us are going to be cut back severely. We just don't know how much yet. Originally, we were all flood irrigation. We are now putting in micro sprinklers, drip irrigation, while growers make changes to compensate for reduced allocations, okay. increased water to the river is already transforming the landscape. 153 miles of river from Friant Dam to the confluence with the Merced River near Turlock are being restored. River habitat will be created, barriers will be removed, and new passageways built. Threatened spring-run Chinook salmon are to be reintroduced by the end of 2012 and nurtured until they're self-sustaining in the wild. 
Now this, this is a riffle right here, right? This is a riffle, yeah. Gerald Hatler is a senior scientist with the California Department of Fish and Game. As the flows increase, his team of researchers and engineers measures the water levels and tracks the speed of the current. They carefully monitor the temperature, which is key to salmon survival. Making sure the San Joaquin water is cold enough will be a considerable challenge, particularly for spring-run salmon. They'll hold over in cooler holding pools until the fall when they spawn. That means that they, they have to be in a system during the summer, and river temperatures in the San Joaquin system typically are not suitable for that. The stretch of river being restored for the salmon is divided into five reaches that present a range of obstacles, including the dam at Mendota Pool and the floodgates at Sand Slough, which are dead ends for fish. These gates will get rebuilt in a way that would make them both serve as the flood control purpose that they currently have, but also so that they're fish friendly, so that juvenile and adult salmon can move through these gates safely. It could be decades before we see if the restoration project achieves its goals. But one thing is certain, the San Joaquin will become a living river again. And the success of this restoration could decide the fate of the Chinook salmon species, whose fabled forebearers were born in the cool riffles of the San Joaquin a century ago. We're gonna be restoring a living river to bring back historic salmon runs and to do it in a way that reflects the modern world we live in where water supply now has a lot of different demands for agriculture and for urban uses as well as for the environment. The San Joaquin River Restoration Program is really a model for water resource issues in California.